Hey everybody, today we got a real short video for you because this project's not going to be finished by the time the video is done. But I just wanted to show you how we're going to trim out our windows. These are motion windows we got online. We'll put a link to the description below. Um, and the, what we're concerned about here in this video is how we're going to trim them out. For our paneling inside our van, we're going to use this cedar tongue and groove, quarter inch cedar. Uh, real nice stuff, and it's going to go up on these furring strips on the side of our van here. Um, and then as you can see here, we've got some insulation below. We're going to stuff insulation behind here and basically all the way up the wall with the cedar. But we want to insulate around the windows too. And it presents a bit of a challenge. How are we going to attach the, the cedar once we get there? So we thought long and hard on that for quite a while. And finally, this is what we came up with right over here. Um, we picked up some one by three hemlock, which is just like this. This is the only scrap I have left over. Um, but we trimmed it out so that this piece is like 44 inches. This piece is about 42 and a half inches. And then I don't know, 23 or 24. I'll measure these and put it in the description for you. We brought our furring strips down past this part of the van all the way down to meet up flush with this outside edge of the hemlock. And then you can see we put some little strips behind there to run screws into. So this surface here is all going to be perfectly flush with the cedar. So for the corners, what we came up with was my brother picked up this piece of three by six hemlock, real nice piece of scrap. It was just, a, I don't know, a foot longer than this. He got a good price on it because it was a cutoff. And he cut these out of it. And a couple of things about this. First of all, this was originally going to be where these pieces of hemlock would stop right here and we would put this in the, in the place of the corner. That ended up being kind of difficult to figure out exactly where to cut. So instead, what we did is we took the pieces he had already made and we cut them at a 90 degree angle right here. And we came up with these. And these will just drop right in like that and they will glue flush against this surface and they'll fit pretty perfectly like that. Then the cedar paneling is gonna go right over this edge, right up here, and we will be able to insulate all the way around our windows like that. Um, in order to find the radius of these windows, I just grabbed some things we had laying around the house, plastic lids. I needed things that were round and I came down and tried a bunch of different things to see if anything was remotely close to that radius. And it turns out a Pyrex two cup storage jar, the lid is perfect. It's a five inch diameter, two and a half inch radius for these motion windows. You might wanna go measure yours yourself because I don't know if they're always gonna be that, but for this particular window, that's what it is. So two and a half inch radius, Cut these out on a bandsaw, two and a half inch radius, and then just cut the corners off. And there we are. Right like that. So as soon as this whole project's completed, we'll have some more videos so you'll be able to see the finished thing. Right now it's mid-October 2019. I'm guessing in a month or so, maybe two weeks, we're hoping to have this completed. So it'll be up in a new video. But for now, that's it for today. Uh, give this a thumbs up if this was helpful. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye. For the corners here, we ended up picking up a scrap of, uh, what is that? I don't know what this is. <laughs>